the FH-77 Hobbies is a Swedish 155mm tall field howitzer developed by the renowned arms manufacturer Bofors, now part of BAE Systems in the late 1970s. It was introduced into service in 1978, becoming a cornerstone of Swedish artillery and finding its way into several other militaries worldwide. The FH-77 was developed in response to NATO's standardization of 155mm artillery as the preferred caliber for its balance of range and firepower, in contrast to the Soviet Union choice of 152mm. Design work began in the mid-1970s and the weapon quickly passed trials to enter service with the Swedish Army. The FH-77 is a tall and cheery piece, but with innovative features that set it apart from other howitzers of its era. It has a semi-automatic loading system, which enables the rate of fire of up to 4 rounds in 9 seconds, a performance that was exceptional at the time of its introduction. It also features a hydraulic flick rammer that helps load the projectiles into the bridge, enhancing efficiency and reducing crew fatigue. The weapon is mounted on a two-wheel split shell carriage that provides stability during firing and flexibility for transportation. A unique feature of the FH-77 is its auxiliary power unit originally provided by Volvo for the Swedish version and Mercedes for export models. The APU allows the howitzer to move short distances under its own power, making it easier to reposition quickly without relying on a towing vehicle. This made the FH-77 the first modern artillery piece with this capability a feature now common in artillery systems worldwide. The Howitzer's 155mm cannon has an effective range of 21 km or 13 miles with standard ammunition and up to 24 km or 15 miles with extended range munitions. The gun has an elevation range of minus 5 to plus 70 degrees with a horizontal traverse of 30 degrees to either side, providing flexibility in targeting. The FH-77 was produced in two main versions. The FH-77A, the original model designed for the Swedish Army. It features a 38 caliber barrel and a Volvo gas supply power APU. The FH-77B, the export version, which was sold to various countries, including India and Nigeria. It features a longer 39 caliber barrel and a Mercedes diesel power APU for improved fuel efficiency. This model also became the foundation for the Archer self-propelled howitzer system. Since its introduction, the FH-77 has served with several militaries. The Swedish Army purchased approximately 220 units between 1979 and 1984. Its largest foreign operator is India, which acquired 410 units between 1986 and 1991. However, Due to issues such as wear and tear and the infamous Beaufort scanner involving accusations of bribery, only around 200 units remain in service in India today. The scanner delayed further acquisitions but did not deter India from keeping the FH-77 as a crucial part of its anterior course. The FH-77 has also been operated by Nigeria, and there are reports 
that Iran may have acquired a small number of units through third-party sources, potentially via Singapore. These exports have made the FH-77 a notable presence in global artillery systems. The FH-77 has demonstrated reliability and performance in various conflicts, particularly in India's Kargil War of 1999, where the howitzer played a pivotal role in high-altitude bombardments. Its ability to fire rapidly and relocate quickly using its APU gave Indian forces a tactical advantage in mountainous terrain, contributing to their success. In Sweden, the FH-77 has been largely replaced by Archer and Cherry system, which uses the FH-77B as its core weapon mounted on a truck for mobility. However, the tall version remains in service with some foreign operators due to its proven reliability and ease of use. In modern warfare, the FH-77 still holds relevance due to its accuracy, rapid rate of fire, and mobility. Its ability to be moved by a standard 6x6 truck or by its own APU makes it versatile for deployment in different combat environments. Additionally, its compatibility with various 155mm NATO standard munitions including precision-guided artillery shells, enhances its role on the contemporary battlefield. While the trend in artillery systems is moving toward self-propelled and automatic systems, the FH-77's cost effectiveness makes it a valuable asset for countries that require potent firepower without the high costs associated with modern self-propelled systems. Although the FH-77 is a legacy system, it retains potential for future upgrades. Some of these could include automated fire control system to enhance targeting accuracy and reduce reliance on manual crew operation. Upgraded ammunition incorporating rocket-assisted projectiles or smart munitions could extend the range and improve the precision of the system. APU improvements Upgrading the APU with more modern, fuel efficient engines could improve the mobility and operational lifespan of the system. Digital communication systems Integration with modern battlefield management systems could improve coordination with other anterior units and enhance battlefield awareness.